our face. Our existence reeks of oppression under your democracy. We are extinct. My name is Baviel Swartz and I'm an actress. Well, it started at primary school. Always, art has always been in me. Ever since I was little, no matter what it was, singing with the family in the house, or dancing with my sister to music, or acting, just acting out for my family, that was just what I would find myself doing. And then I made drama, theatre overall in high school and not too long uh, after high school I found out about Magnet by a friend of mine and he told me they are hosting auditions and I decided you know what why not go for it well, when I went to the auditions, I, I was very nervous, anxious to be exact. Uh, but afterwards, after I'd done the audition, it was a very nervous wait, a very long nervous wait. But when I got the call, it was positive and I was over the moon. <laughs> She came and she was very young, she was one of the youngest trainees um, and was very shy and took a long time to really move into herself as a creative person. Um, but then she did. As, as an educator, it's, it's a very satisfying experience when, when you work with someone who clearly has a lot of potential but is dealing with confidence issues, is dealing with um, a, a lack of skill and, and, and uncomfortability in the, in, in the theatre and then suddenly to watch that person growing in confidence, growing in skill, um, growing in range and her ability to work and, and I think she has turned into really one of the, the loveliest actors that have come out of the training program. She's employable, she um, she's, has a really beautiful connection to her own feelings. So being accepted at Magnet Theatre, the two-year training program, it was a huge stepping stone in my career and what I want to do. My greatest achievement here for me at Magnet was going to Germany with a production called AHA. It was my first time in a plane ever and I've never thought that I would be able to fly across the border to another country. No one in my house has ever flown that far and gladly I, I could do it for the first time. Magnet has had, a, had a, a kind of focus for the last sort of five years around creating work for, for young people. Um, I, had a, I had a sense that uh, I wanted to make work for young people that were not in the school system. I've come to love earliest theatre very much because children are the most honest audience you can ever get. They, they show you honesty in a raw way. The biggest challenge I face as a coloured actress is that there are not a lot of roles written for coloured actors in Cape Town. And the one thing that I still battle with as an artist is receiving a big no from the audition panel. It crushes you from inside, you 
not to be approved, it, it, it hurts sometimes, but you have to just take it and move forward, because if you don't, then what's the point? You see everything black. Yesterday you said colors are black, and today you said poisons are black. Tomorrow you will say water was black. Black <laughs> black. One of my biggest highlights was being cast in a play called Kudu. I became the voice for the voiceless. In the play, it spoke to me as a young colored woman with Khoi heritage. Being given the space to explore, to fail, to um, get feedback, to develop her skills, she's really, she left the training program in a very um, powerful position. I would not have been able to secure a university entrance after matric, but now that I've been to Magnet Theatre, should I decide to enroll at UCT or any other university, it will be very possible. <laughs>